Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Lake of Isles Golf Club in Connecticut, USA, testing the new TaylorMade M1 Rescue Club. So new M1 range, they've got the drivers, got the fairway woods, the new PSI irons are all being tested right now. So stay coming to my channel very soon if not already. This is a beauty. This is a beautiful golf club. And it, weirdly, and I don't quite know why, but a very different look to the to its big brother or its dad, the driver, and its big brother, the fairway, fairway wood. It looks very different. It's it's cool. It's I mean, the other ones are amazing looking, don't get me wrong, but this is like just mega, yeah. You know what? I'm a little bit different. I'm a little bit out there. I'm a little bit cool. No carbon top, complete black top. Now, I'm using currently the R15 fairway wood and do, uh, not fairway wood, rescue, and love it. I think this looks better. Black head, black face, a little bit of white designing. There's a weight in the middle and a weight in the toe so you can switch them round if need be. If you wanted more weight in the toe, more weight in the heel, whatever that may be. I've got this in 319 degrees. You can go higher and lower and loft with it. I've just got it in stiff, Fujikora shaft. Should we give it a smack? Got GC2, real golf balls tailor made, a tour preferred. I just think it looks outrageously good. So I'm going to hit it off the floor. I don't, want, I don't know if it's just that, that everything's black. Apart from the bottom groove is white. I love that look of it. Everything's black, but the bottom groove is white. I reckon about 230-ish carry would be about where this will sit. Oh, toey. Ouch. See what it does anyway. That was toey. That was a bad hit. 242, yeah. It was a toey pull. My fault, my fault, my fault. So let's have a look. Let's go again. Next shot. Felt good though, I must admit, but it was a bit toey. Oh, and that was a bit bottomed. Stay with me. <laughs> I've actually not hit this club at all yet on any test. Not even, uh, I didn't get fitted for this, so there's my excuses, and I am sticking to them. Right, let's go some more. Better. Better. Nicer hit. In fact, lovely hit. Good flight, that's more like it. 236 carry, sits where it should do. Lovely flight, easy to hit. Can I say that after the first two? No. <laughs> I'd be wrong in saying that. That's more my bad hits. Right, let's go a couple more. Oh, there we go. He's got it. He's got the feel for it. And it is a beaut. Let's go for a bit of a horrible light. I made a bit of a divot before. I'm going to hit it out of that. So this is a horrible divoty lie, okay? Really horrible divoty lie. See if I can smash it out of that. Yeah. Yeah, still performed absolutely wonderfully. 220 carry out of that divot. Performed wonderfully. I like the adjustability. I love the looks. Shame about those first two shots, but I love the looks. Love the adjustability. Sits nicely in that range. Um, whether it's now going to swap my R15, I'm not too sure, but it, it does look fantastic with the black and the white contrast working well together. Uh, lovely looking head. Apparently it's black because the tour players preferred the black head. The tour players preferred the black head over the white head. Let me pull up the data from iPad. So just pulling up the data there from the iPads. Like I say, sorry about those first couple. Um, decent numbers still, 231 carry. Best was 237 or 242, but that kind of went a little bit wayward. Uh, 231 carry, an average, very good hit. Good height, good hang time, good descent angle, so it's going to come dropping down soft. Great for par threes, great for long par threes. Fantastic for hitting into long par fours or par fives. Um, adjustability, which will be good for golfers who struggle to maybe if they fade it a little bit too much, they can pop that heavy weight in the toe just to help that face square over a little bit more. Um, sits nicely. I'm surprised I didn't stick with the carbon head, but I do think the black looks awesome. Guys, stay tuned. PSI irons coming next, and they are worth waiting for. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time. Do subscribe, comment down below, and we'll get on to the PSI irons.